the barrel, Gata Sutta, Samyutta Nikaya, 21.3. I have heard that on one occasion the Blessed One was staying near Sawati in Jetta's Grove, an Adipendika's monastery. And on that occasion Venerable Sariputta and Venerable Mahamagalana were staying near Rajagaha in a single dwelling in the squirrel's sanctuary. Then, Venerable Sariputta, arising from his seclusion in the late afternoon, went to Venerable Maha Magalana. On arrival, he exchanged courteous greetings with him. After an exchange of friendly greetings and courtesies, he sat to one side. As he was sitting there, he said to Venerable Maha Magalana, Bright are your faculties, friend Magalana. Pure your complexion, and clear. Could it be that Venerable Maha Magalana has spent today in a peaceful abiding? It was in a gross abiding, my friend, that I spent today. But I had some Dhamma talk. With whom did Venerable Magalana have some Dhamma talk? With the Blessed One, my friend. But far away is the Blessed One now, in Jetta's Grove, and at Appendika's Monastery. Did Venerable Maha Magalana go to the Blessed One through psychic power? Or did the Blessed One come to Venerable Maha Magalana through psychic power? I didn't go to the Blessed One through psychic power, my friend. Nor did the Blessed One come to me through psychic power. Rather, the Blessed One focused His divine eye and divine ear to my location, and I focused my divine eye and divine ear to the location of the Blessed One. And what kind of Dhamma talk did Venerable Maha Magalana have with the Blessed One? Just now, my friend, I said to the Blessed One, When aroused of energy, when aroused of energy, it is said, Lord, to what extent is a person when aroused of energy? When this was said, the Blessed One said, There is the case, Magalana, where a monk, thinking, Gladly would I let the flesh and blood in my body dry up, leaving just the skin, tendons, and bones. But if I have not attained what can be reached through manly firmness, manly energy, manly striving, there will be no relaxing my energy. That is how one is a person of aroused energy. That is the Dhamma talk that I had with the Blessed One, my friend. Friend, like a few small pieces of gravel placed next to the Himalayas, the king of mountains, are we when placed next to Venerable Maha Magalana. For Venerable Maha Magalana is of such great power, great might, that if he wished, he could live for a kappa. Friend, like a few small grains of salt placed next to a large salt barrel, are we when placed next to Venerable Sariputta. For in many ways has Venerable Sariputta been lauded, praised, and extolled by the Blessed One. As for Sariputta, any monk who has gone beyond, at best, can only equal him in discernment, virtue, and calm. In this way did each of these two great men approve of what was well stated and well expressed by the other.